Texas news did come. Emancipation's here, freedom's begun. Chains are broken, our spirits soar. A celebration like never before. Feel the rhythm, hear the beat. Juneteenth joy can't be beat. From the roots we rise so high, lift our voices to the sky. Freedom dance, oh can you feel the vibe? Celebrate, let the joy come alive. Hands up, hearts open wide. Juneteenth, our pride, our stride. Through the trials and the pain, we stood strong, broke. This is the moment infamous killer, Jaime Osuna appeared in court, charged with his second murder after killing his cellmate in a gruesome attack. Sometime in the early hours of March 9th, Jaime Osuna methodically tortured and killed Luis Romero at Corcoran State Prison. Osuna is accused of using a makeshift knife to decapitate and dissect Romero, removing an eye, a finger and a portion of the man's lung, as well as cutting his spine and removing his eyes. It is believed that the victim was conscious for a portion of the crime. New reports are raising questions about how prison guards missed the hours-long sadistic torture and beheading. Osuna was originally jailed back in 2011 for the brutal murder of Yvette Pina in a motel. He had this to say I did. Sadistically. Premeditatedly. Deliberately tortured and murdered that opinion. I don't have no sympathy, I'm sadistic. I really don't care, I'll do it and I'll do it again. Over and over and over. When this criminal heard the verdict, she fell asleep peacefully. This was Diana Lovejoy, who was living in a constantly contentious family. At the time it was during this period that she happened to encounter her shooting instructor, Weldon McDavid Jr. and used her body to manipulate him into plotting the murder of her husband. The shooting occurred in September 2016, while Lovejoy and Mulvey Hill were finalizing a heated divorce and bitter custody battle over their son. However, to their utter surprise, the woman's husband, Greg Mulvey was not fatally injured and luckily survived. It might have been due to the darkness of the night or perhaps the incompetence of the shooting instructor, but regardless their conspiracy failed. In late 2017, a superior court judge sentenced Diana Lovejoy to 26 years to life imprisonment for conspiracy to commit murder and attempted murder. This leads to the scene at the beginning of the video where she collapses in the courtroom. You think she was repentant or scared? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comment section.